All hell was let loose at a kidnapper's den in Taraba State when a number of the evil men killed themselves over the sharing of ransom. A Jalingo-based businessman and a housewife abducted a few weeks ago had ransom paid for their freedom and the kidnappers disagreed on the sharing formula and got themselves killed at the foot of a mountain in Ado local government area of the state. In a related development, kidnappers who invaded Maza Kuka in Mashegu local government area of Niger state are demanding a 60 million naira ransom from families of worshippers uh, they snatched with the chief imam. Man is indeed the most cruel of all animals, BC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not cruel. <laughs> I am not cruel. No, 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 man. You are not a man. I'm no. not a man. <laughs> <laughs> but you are a gentleman of the <laughs> You know what? What intrigues me most about this story is the fact that the villagers, the way they described the eye doubts of these kidnappers, hmm. I mean, it shows that the this demons we are fighting are not invisible. And they were hearing voices. Yes, they said they were hearing voices. They knew they were fighting among themselves. And they went there and saw the corpses and all of that. My, my, for them, for those who mm. died, I'm sure maybe those people they kidnapped and they collected money from, you know, there are some people you will collect that money, but that money will still kill you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, you, you, you know, you know, you see, man, man is this. Man will commit these evils, and Satan will take the credit. Uh, 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 <laughs> or is it the blame? Is it, is it? Uh, the blame. Okay, we we'll take the blame. Uh, or maybe Satan. And credit. Uh, yes. Because you keep talking it, about it. Exactly. Well, well, I don't even know who no, is, who is taking the blame work. and who is. Who is committing the crime? They say a devil. So who is the devil? I don't even well, know. Well, ask them. <laughs> Honestly, um, <laughs> for those who died, good riddance to bad rubbish. Yes. Really. But then, how many people do we need to be taken away before mm. we can find a permanent solution to a problem yeah. and, that and, is and, not and, too... And for that matter, BC, is a it, is it problem not solvable and that's what i want to say that's mm. the conclusion of that mm. the problem that is not too far-fetched the problem that is not so-called an invisible problem that you cannot yeah. even perceive what it is that is why i started from the perspective mm. of the people giving a description a very yeah clean they and say, clear I, description the, the of, of a mountain the foot so of the mountain on the right side of this mm. uh, inside this place what all of this the people live amongst us they live course. amongst they, they, us they, that they, is the point i'm trying to make mm. and how come that these people that are amongst us we cannot get them and and they, we are not talking about ungone known men or no this one are known men are known uh -huh. gone men. they are known gone men <laughs> And yet, we are so powerless ah, that's, that's in dealing thing. with this known gun um, man. You know, Taraba appears to me, I, I may be wrong, uh, they have this notoriety for uh, kidnap yes, kingpins. Yes, of course, you of course. Know, you know, the, 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 the IRT matter. Yeah. You know, there was even a time, I mean, you know, it was so bad that at the time, kidnappers would go to people's houses and knock on their door, proclaim it clearly in the same Taraba state. Mm. That they were there to pick so and so and so and so people in the household. Send them for or bring out so and so amount of money or so and so maybe food stuff. And you see, the, the ah. problem is these people are not ghosts, they are not mm -hmm. spirits. You know, so there is this strong suspicion that is gaining ground that for this kidnapping to have first start, perhaps certain maybe influential people in political circles, possibly in government, in security circles are in cahoots with these criminals because how will this kind of a thing you know first have for years yes you know i, I remember when i was a, when i was a child we had this case of uh, we had what we call bomo bomo you know cases of oh how That's they were picking popular in B yeah. bc's area yeah I not mean, in, in my in the southwest you know no, no, he, had, he, had variations. Okay. <laughs> he had variations in other areas you know but this is advanced bomo this bomo. is now yes. advanced bomo. you know it is so sad that these people move about with impunity 
and you have police checkpoints here and there. So is it until the people take the laws into their hands, start taking the laws into their hands before government will rise? President Bwari in Saudi Arabia, he said that he has dealt severely with these uh, criminals in the Northwest. But these, but these people, on Sunday, they killed um, so many people, scores yeah. of people in yeah. Sokoto State, killing people here and there. Now, they kidnapped even a chief imam. So you don't even understand what the basis for all of and this And the people is. were praying. People, you so it's, not even, it's not even, there is and, no, yeah. there is no and you, are asking, you have the temerity to ask got, for yeah, a figure. 60 million. I mean, the other day, some children were left in a car with their mother in Akure. And before you, you knew what was happening, hmm. the children were picked. And so these things have become it embarrassing because all these things are in the media. They go all over the world. And people have this idea that why has Nigeria sunk so low? What is going on? Okay, government is saying they are deploying 34,000 policemen just because of an election that hold within a few hours. But why not deploy all police in search of these people? Let it be a do or die affair. Clear these people once and for all. Or oh, do, do and die. No, no. <laughs> they, the kidnapper should die. Oh, okay. It should okay. be a matter of... I, I wanted to be sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, this is decision taking and decision making is key here. Uh, you do, they say a good leader will now wait until a particular problem becomes an emergency. Now, the, we are living in times that try men's souls and women's souls. And uh, this, the festive season is coming. Mm -hmm. And so we have, the chances are there for a heightened level yeah. of kidnapping. I, so, I may be wrong. Yes. No, no, no it's so, so sad because usually during the end of the year, uh, criminal activities, you know, usually rise. And that is why some states, they put in place special... Uh, security measures mm. just to cop that but for nigeria now i think uh, every day has become christmas hmm. let me say it in a positive yes, manner yes. that in that you don't even know the difference again hmm. and it will have even been good if uh, you even have a feeling that uh, the people in authority are even responding to emergency hmm. they are supposed to be proactive right but are they even reactive? They are failed from being proactive. Even they to be reactive, they are not even reactive. They are not there. So, you know, you are, you, are, you are not proactive. You are not also reactive. So, where are you? What are you doing? Where are we going? You see, are we just... Are we that helpless? I, I think we have. I think we are. I think we are. It's, 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 a sad, so. it's a sad reality. Maybe it is not deliberate. Because we don't know what is happening on the other side. Mm. We don't know the challenges or whatever. And you know, they say you need to wear the cap mm. before you can actually... You know, yeah, yeah, funding. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I cannot forget what happened in Benway State the other time when the, the criminal, criminal, Ghana, Ghana, mm -hmm. Ghana or whatever. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. or Tese, a, a, a kwasa or whatever. Akwasi, yes. Mm -hmm. The, the man was going for a meeting, a reconciliation meeting, yes, and, he was, and um, left the word with his boys. If I return, so be it. If I don't return, you know what, what mm. to do. What you're saying, it's, it's somebody somewhere knows look, what is happening. Look, I, I may be look, wrong. Look, I, I, I look, may be wrong. I think in this case, so, ah, Nigerian security agencies, they are very smart. It's not as if they are totally clueless. So. Mm. It's not as if they are totally... Uh -uh. See the way they brought Nami Kanu now. Do, you, do clueless people do such operations? If, if they talk like, say, you did there. I know, I know they did there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. the way they brought him now, we didn't even know that he was in Nigeria. Yeah. And then until years. After like about one week or so, to show you that they can actually if, do their if, work if discreetly it, it if can. they want to do it. It, it can. But uh -huh. in this case, it's holding them back. So, but, but, I, I, but I, I also want to admit the fact that uh, we don't have enough security personnel. We yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about Niger State. Geographically sk speaking, Niger is the largest state in the in, whole country. In the country yeah. And uh, so the, the topography is another wahala. We have forests. 
uh, you dislodge uh, bandits in Zamfara. They find their way into Kebi and uh, mm. onto Sokoto, mm. now to Kaduna, Katsina, and uh, all But that. when they know that that is the way they normally move, mm. since we are you, you are talking about how they move, you are not even a security or pretty, but you can imagine how they move. Mm. So what are we doing about that knowledge that we have access to? They should be able to do something about that knowledge. We mm. know that the topography is bad. We know. I, I think they should be able to do more but it's also but easier for us. Building, it's yeah. easier so for us to say than because they are actually in it. And yeah, but but I think the people should also be brought into mm. the picture more. You know, because mm. thank mm. thank God for Amoteko, you know, Amoteko in the southwest that the governors insisted, in spite of the opposition of the Attorney General of the Federation, that is governors of the southwest insisted, okay. you know, that Amoteko had to be established. And you can see what you know the 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 the, the gallant uh, or you know. A call, a call, you know, members of uh, Moteko have been able yeah. to do in the, yeah. in, the in, in the last few months. But I think it should be expanded. More of the people should be brought in so that you see this thing doesn't lead to a uh, state of a national state of emergency. Because if it continues like this, 2022 uh, people will be forced uh, to uh, go uh, and re get weapons remember the, the statement and to defend themselves. Re remember the statement accredited to our friend. Uh, as a brother, in Don C ninety nine, who be hundred? <laughs> you know. But there's one. No? One is weighty. Uh, the one in between uh, the nine hundred is weighty. Okay, it has its we, own. We know we we'll get there, and <laughs> they, the business people will say, "Kiwu <laughs> ufule." You know they heavy for ground. Mm -hmm. uh, this earth took a two two bombs dropped on Nagasaki mm -hmm. and Hiroshima. And uh, Trump dropped the last one, mother of all bombs on uh, <laughs> Afghanistan. Mm. Uh, let it come, we'll still. In fact, we'll God, has been, God has been oh. good to us. And okay, we, continue we, to we must draw the program to a close here, but not before thanking mm -hmm. our guest, Olabisi Deji Folutile. Uh, I, I thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Thank but you. Send, the, send the bills here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. That would be lovely. Yeah. That would be lovely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Emeka, I thank you very kindly too. Much, yes. Wish Anambra well. Yes, yes. Mm. We and uh, the backroom boys will say thank you all the same. That will just about do it on this program. If you missed this edition, join us at 11 this evening for a late edition. And don't forget to uh, team up with the Sunday edition of the program from 1.30 for a two-hour show. We are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Citizen Jones. Bye-bye now.